Hello and welcome to our Mindfulness Challenge, day 78. I hope you're doing well today. Today is all about empathy, empathy, being empathetic for others, having uh, care about them, be concerned about them, have understanding for them, have compassion for them, you know, being able to, you know, go out of your way and feel things and not be so judgmental. And all of those things really are amazing ways of working with empathy. I haven't really spoken much um, about the coronavirus for a while because, you know, things were moving forward and all of those things, but it's still there. It's 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 not gone and people are still worried and unfortunately people are still dying and there have been several um, situations and things that have in recent days and weeks is, have overshadowed some of that and the things that are happening in America are, are very difficult and and you know when you see the needless acts of violence that started this with with the death of an innocent black man it's it's difficult and everything that goes with that and you know I've had several conversations with people in America and we talk about how black lives do matter and that we need to keep that narrative um, because there isn't there's no equality there is these people suffer every single day and you know I am obviously a white male in the UK but I'm from Wales and 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 I have faced racism um, and other things, not, not to the scale that, that I've seen and witnessed and been told about in America, but, you know, I don't live in England and, you know, we get called numerous names. We, you know, we, we get sometimes the short end of the stick and, and you know, we are, so on times in history, is a downtrodden nation and country, but not to the levels I see in America and you know the reason why I talk about that and people talk about spirituality I think we can dress a lot of things up but how about just this could be a really nice idea how about just being nice to each other how about having compassion for somebody else how about having empathy for somebody else how about helping somebody else how about you know just having equality equality is 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 a word in itself that you know means that we are all equal and we should be all equal we are part of something that's called the human race but at this moment in time we need to be talking about black lives matter and the reason for that is because of the the story and the narrative and the injustice that's taking place on the streets all over the world and it's time for change and i've spoke about 2020 being about the time for you and your development, etc. 2021 is the year of spirit. And I think, you know, it would be great to have no more um, murders of the extent that we've seen in America. And if we can get to that level of equality, it would be amazing. But for me, that basis around compassion, empathy, love. Love underpins everything. And love is a difficult word. People say, well, what is love? I've never felt, you know, love is everything. You know, love, acceptance, trust, surrender, empathy, compassion. You know, all of these words describe what we'd like to see in the world. But to do that, we have to cultivate it in ourselves. We are the start of any change in this world. And we can change it, but it needs to be done brick by brick. And our lights and the way we do things, you know, hopefully will shine for those around us. I am a spiritual person and I am also a human. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man. I, you know, last night I liked a beer and watched some telly and football and, and had a quiz and, you know, but today, you know, I'm, I'm spiritual. I try to help people. I try to be compassionate. I, I like to think that, you know, most of my decisions, if not all of my dis decisions start from a point of, of, of love. And it wouldn't be amazing if we could roll that out around the world, maybe one day. But today is about empathy. And if we can be have more empathy and compassion for people around us, you know, we can get through all of these troubles with underpinned by that lovely word called love. So today we're gonna to do a mindfulness breathing exercise based on empathy. Up goes the picture, and I want you to get comfortable in your chair. 
And as always in these instances, mindfulness is very much about the awareness of your breath. So take several deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. But concentrate on your breathing. Visualize the air that you're taking flowing through your entire body. And then think to yourself, what does it feel like and how does it make me feel warm? How does it make me feel loved? How does it fill me with renewed vigor and strength? Just finding that breath beautifully, just check it in with yourself. That moment of silence is like, it's just so beautiful. It is so refreshing. Just that silence. Breathing in, breathing out from moment to moment, breath to breath. Now I want you to visualize someone you love and someone who loves you. And I want to see their, I want you to see their face, visualize, bring to your awareness their face and their body. And just see how you react when you're together. And with your next breath, breathing love you receive from this person and breathe loving kindness back when you breathe out. Breathing love from this person and breathe out loving kindness back to the person. And this time I want you to breathe in all of the love from this person. And I want you, instead of breathing it out, I want you to hold it inside you. Continue to breathe, but I want you to hold it inside you. Get all of that love from that person. Breathe it in and build that love up inside you. Feel the warmth of that love. And then let it flow right the way throughout your body. It's going to help you to feel warm, loved and strong. You can feel that love that you've breathed in from somebody who truly loves you. And then just slowly let the image of your loved one fade away. But they've left you, your body, every single cell, your heart chambers are full with this wonderful love of the person who loves you most. Feel it inside you, feel the warmth. And I want you now to bring to mind someone with whom you've had difficulty empathizing with. Maybe it's a friend or a loved one, somebody maybe you've even had an argument with recently. It could be a person who is not very empathetic themselves, maybe lacks a bit of self-awareness. It could be a bully or someone who has a hard time forgiving others. I just want you to visualize this person. And look at them. Look at them closely. Ask yourself, what do I have in common with this person? They have a body just like me. They have feelings just like me. They experience joy, love and pain just like you. And deep down they want to be loved. They want to be understood. And what I want you to do now is gather from your body the loving kindness you receive from the loved one. And now, breathe it out. But let your loving kindness surround this person that is in front of you as you try to understand their actions and their needs. Allow this love to surround them, to help them understand their needs, their loves, their wants, to become more compassionate and to become more empathetic, have more empathy. And now as you're breathing in there and you feel the changes in this person, you can feel the changes in this person's energy and in the energy of yours. Be love and give love. And just then watch this person just slowly fade away from your awareness. 
from your visualization. And bring your concentration back to your breathing. Breathing in and breathing out. And as you breathe in now, I want you from the soles of your feet, feel your whole body filling with spiritual compassion and empathy. It comes up through your legs, through your knees, up through your thighs, into your midriff, through your chest, through your arms, into your shoulders, into your neck, through your throat, into your head, into your eyes, and into the top of your head. And just feel as you breathe every time this beautiful feeling of compassion and empathy. And the feeling is so powerful, you may even start to have goosebumps on your arms as this beautiful energy just completely fills your body. And this energy is for you today to have more compassion, more patience, more tolerance, more love, more acceptance and forgiveness for yourself and for others around you. And whenever you get into a situation today, tomorrow or the next day, where you are around the presence of somebody who is not showing compassion, love or empathy, just breathe a little out onto them in your mind. Give them some love, compassion and empathy that you have in your beautiful body today. Take a deep breath in wiggle your fingers and come back into the room. It's a very beautiful meditation and and and, and the channeling is gorgeous. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. You know, patience, acceptance, trust, love, empathy, compassion, you know, equity. Uh, they're all words, trust, love. They're all words that I'd really like you to use every day in your vocabulary your vernacular. I think today I've sort of woke up feeling a little a little sad after just laying down and looking and reflecting on the past few months this year uh, this year and you know we're nearly halfway through and I've lost friends through suicide through accidents Coronavirus has taken some people I know away and it's affected people financially, mentally. We've had the passing and the murder of George Floyd and the riots and the reactions from the people who are meant to be keeping us safe. It's difficult. And we just have to Keep cultivating love, compassion, trust, empathy, all of the words that we've discussed all the way through this. Because you see, we are one light. But when we bring all of our lights together, we make a very powerful light. And there is no such thing as darkness, only an absence of light. And remember that. So today, tomorrow, and the next day, play your very small part on raising this vibration and showing compassion, empathy, acceptance, forgiveness, trust, love, surrender to yourself and to others. I started talking about be love and give love two years ago when it was channeled to me by Ronnie, my guide. And at the time, I sort of understood it but I didn't understand the context and the depth of it. And weeks like we've had, months like we've had, and unfortunately days like we've had, compounds the thought for me of be love and give love. Build that love and compassion and empathy within. Forgiveness, love, trust, surrender, out. So today, be love and give love and put your hand on your heart and say good morning Julian I love you good morning Julian I love you and importantly smile because today's the day we can all make a difference on day 78 
of the Mindfulness Challenge. Please share this. Let's widen it. We're getting about 50 views on the videos and I'd like more views. And you don't have to start at day one. You can start at day wherever you want because it's a reminder and it's all there. So if I can ask a favour, please could you share this today? Please could you subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notifications when these things come up. And if you want to leave some comments about your thoughts, how have you been feeling? It would be great. But please try and share this today. Let's try and get it out there. Said before, each one reach one. Be love and give love. See you soon. In fact, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.